Welcome to The Daily Dish, I'm Shay Pasta. Today in our Getting Ready for Baby series, and then there were three. A baby changes everything, including your relationships. So how do you keep the romance alive between feedings and naps? Well, joining me with the answer is Dr. Lynn Kenny, author of The Family Coach Method. Thank you for being oh, with us today. Oh, it's great to see you again. So this is something, it really does change everything. And you can't know what it's going to change no. until it happens to no. you, so it's kind of hard to prepare. What are some of the common things, though, that happen in a relationship when baby comes along? Well, the first thing that, that happens is that you add more task demands to your everyday life. I mean, you already were doing a lot, and now you've got another person. Yes. So, you know, just allocating the task demands, writing down what you actually have to do. I mean, really everything from, you know, emptying the dishwasher to cleaning the floors to doing the diapers. you got to kind of take inventory of all mm -hmm. of that and then do allocate it so that you're getting things done and not fighting about it. Excellent. What are some of the biggest mistakes that mo new moms make with their relationships when there's a new baby in the picture? Well, we've both been new moms, so we know. We, <laughs> we think do. we can do it better than our husbands, don't we? But really, daddy's very important, and letting him participate in the process of care from the very beginning will make for a better family life overall. Very good, very good. Now, we talked about something, both of us were new moms, mm -hmm. that all of us underestimate about sleep. Yes. How does that impact the relationship? Well, you know, when you are tired, when you're sleep deprived, it actually not only impacts your health, mm -hmm. sleep deprivation can contribute to cardiac you know, disease and diabetes and all sorts of illnesses, it really impacts your mood and your mm. ability to communicate and stay calm. Yes. So yes. we, I really suggest to all the new parents in my office that they do write down who's going to sleep when, that they actually prepare some sort of schedule. You don't have to stick to it, but being mindful of the fact that you both really need to sleep every day helps. I also really recommend a co-sleeper because if the mother's breastfeeding, you can breastfeed safely and then put the baby back in the co-sleeper. Mm. Remember, you're going to feed your baby every two and a half hours, yeah. and that's definitely interfering with your sleep. The other thing is that dads can do a lot. So dads can get up in the middle of the night and change the diaper or sometimes even feed the breast milk with the bottle. So we've really got to make sure that you're planning and preparing to work together in order to get enough sleep. Now how do we keep the romance alive? You know, romance is very important in a relationship. I think the first thing to do is to recognize how much fun you were having before you had the baby. <laughs> you got to write it down. You got to say, well, what were our favorite restaurants? And, you know, when did we make love? And what was, what was really fun about our relationship? And take a few of those kernels and promise to, to bring them forward. As an example, even with a newborn, your mother can come over and help or an aunt can help and you can get one hour together just to have lunch. You have to really get those things on the schedule by one, being mindful of what brought you joy and two, really putting it on the schedule. Excellent, excellent. Now a lot of moms put baby so much first that they think, well this is the most important person in my life now. And they let the, the relationship slide a little bit. Yeah. But let's tell moms, how is the baby benefiting from keeping that relationship alive? Well, it's interesting because you know, having been a mother, that the love you feel for your children is almost like no other love. Mm -hmm. So yeah, sometimes we do, it's yeah. overwhelming. Mm -hmm. So time, sometimes we do overemphasize that relationship. But the research clearly says, if the two parents are getting along at the top of the hierarchy, mm -hmm. Everybody in the family does well, socially, academically, um, interpersonally. So you've really got to focus on that marriage and keep the love alive. It's going to be better for your baby long term. Excellent, excellent. So where can people get more information from you? Well, we can visit lynnkenny.com. Perfect. Absolutely. Excellent. And of course, you can find Dr. Kenny with us as well right here on the She Knows Parenting channel. Thanks for being with us today. I'm Shay Pasa. We'll see you next time. You've been watching She Knows TV. For more She Knows Daily Dish, go to SheKnows.com. Be sure to follow She Knows and Shay on Facebook and Twitter.